two viscera in front of me and both are lungs. Today I will show you how to hold the lung in anatomical position. Before holding you must identify the lung whether it is right lung or left lung. This lung having three lobes upper middle and lower and two fissures one horizontal fissure one oblique fissure. So, it is right lung, but in left lung you will get one fissure only that is oblique fissure not horizontal fissure only oblique fissure is there. So, two lobes. So, it is left lung, but other points also you have to keep in mind. So, before holding you must know the surfaces and borders and upper end and lower end upper part is tapering it is called the apex of the lung and this one is the base of the lung because it is resting on the diaphragm also called diaphragmatic surface it is downwards and medial surface known by the presence of hilum which is facing medially and this surface also called lateral surface or costal surface because of the impression of the ribs this surface is elevated and depressed. And anterior border it is sharp and posterior border it is round inferior border also it is sharp. So, how to hold? You have to hold the lung in such a way so that the anterior sharp border will be facing anteriorly, round posterior border posteriorly, base broad base downwards tapering apex upwards and medially this high lump will be faced, faced medially. So, this is the anatomical position of the right lung. The anterior border not completely anterior slightly medially. So, this is the anatomical position of right lung and similarly the sharp anterior border apex hilum. So, this is the anatomical position of left lung. So, if I hold both the lungs. So, this is the anatomical position of right lung and left lung in between the two lungs you will get the mediastinum where the important viscera or rather most important viscera of the thorax is the heart which lies lies in between this medial surface of two lungs. So, this is the anatomical position of both the lungs.